This is Greater Media News. Welcome to Greater Media News. I am Avila Kache. Here are the top stories. The Academic Staff Union of Universities has urged its chapter across the country to sensitize members of the public on the situation between the union and the federal government. The union has declared Monday, February 7, a lecture free day in a bid to enhance sensitization. The national president of the union, Professor Emmanuel Sodeke, clarified that the union had not yet declared a strike but will be sensitizing the public, which includes the media on the state of affairs between the union and the federal government. A representative at an inter-school quiz and debate competition held at Akograms made the school proud last week. Oluwale Bukumi, who represented the school in quiz competition, came first, while Aibe Bukumi, who represented the school in a debate competition, came second. Biblically speaking, there is a time for everything. So definitely, there is a time to enter university. Instead, let's train our children on what to expect when they get to university and how to behave when they get there, so that when they are old enough, they'll be fully prepared. In conclusion, being in university is a lot of psychological stress on the child. They may be easily influenced by their peers, and the worst of it all is that they may not be able to manage themselves properly. All these and many more are some of the reasons why there should be a minimum age for entry into university. Thank you, and God bless. Round two events of extracurricular activities for this term were decided last weekend. In some of the events, Violet House defeated Cherry in female table tennis, while Marigold House defeated Almond House once they in female football. In male football, Violet House defeated Cherry House on penalties. On foreign scene, Meta is taking on Snapchat with the launch of Bitmoji-like cartoon avatars on Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger as part of its ambition to transform into a metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg's firm has announced that it's rolling out 3D avatars to Instagram stories, Instagram direct messages, Facebook, and Messenger for users in the US, Canada, and Mexico. It means Facebook users can now show up as their three-dimensional virtual selves in Facebook profile pictures, comments, stickers, stories, and more. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said the electric vehicle makers humanoid Optimus robots, which the company unveiled last August, could be in production by the end of next year and might just help resolve future labor shortages, like the one currently rattling the U.S. economy. The foundation of the economy is labor and capital equipment, is distilled labor, Musk said, referring to the robots. That's what Optimus is about. So it's very important, Mark said, predicting the Optimus robots have the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. Now on entertainment scene. My name is King T'Challa. And for the first time in our history, we will be sharing our knowledge and resources with the outside world. Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. The mantle passed from warrior to warrior. After a four year wait, fans are headed into the magical world of Marvel Cinematic Universe for another trip to Wakanda, Black Panther. Wakanda Forever is officially back in production after some major challenges. Fans of the franchise won't have to wait too much longer. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever will hit the cinemas on November 11, 2022. Now on sports, robot refuse will be used by FIFA during Club World Cup this month. It is believed that the new technology will be used to make offside decisions within half a second. Special cameras that will be attached to the stadium roofs will be used to create a limb tracking system creating animated skeletons that will help speed up the decision-making process in regards to offside calls. The VAR referees in place will then be alerted of the decision made by the technology, which the on-pitch referee then be subsequently informed. Last week, Friday, 4th February, the world observed the annual World Cancer Day. Featured in our news production this week is an awareness video on how to reduce cancer risk. Research tells us that up to one half of cancer cases are preventable through healthy lifestyle behaviors. 
You can reduce your risk for cancer by following these eight recommendations. Being overweight or obese can increase your risk for several types of cancer. You can reduce your risk by maintaining a healthy weight. Eating a healthy diet can help you stay lean. Fill two-thirds of your plate with vegetables, fruits, and whole grains. Limit foods like red meat and processed meat. Being physically active reduces your risk for many cancers. It can also help you maintain a healthy weight. Aim for at least 30 minutes of physical activity five days a week. If you don't smoke or use tobacco products, don't start. If you do smoke, even occasionally, it's never too late to quit. Your health will improve immediately and continue to improve over time. The HPV vaccine is the best protection against HPV-related cancers. All boys and girls between 11 and 12 years old should get the HPV vaccine. The best way to protect yourself against skin cancer is to limit your exposure to the sun's UV rays and eliminate tanning bed use. If you must be in the sun, use sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher. If you have a family history of cancer, you may be at increased risk. Talk to your family about their medical history so your doctor can assess your risk and help you take precautions against cancer. Screening exams help detect cancer early when it's most treatable. Talk to your doctor about the appropriate screening exams for you based on your gender, age, and risk factors. This is to remind you that the hairstyle for this week still remains hands up do not. That ends our production for this week. On behalf of the entire Greater Media crew, I wish you all a wonderful week. I still remain Marvel Okachi.